What's up, guys? Cove's back. It's only been, you know, like, almost a week. It's all good. But today, <laughs> we are going for Clan Wars meta free-to-play tech tree tanks that you need to have as an executive commander or caller in your clan. You need to have your players have these tanks readily available with the setups you want, with the field mods you want, with the crew skills you want. These are the four. I'm going to go over four tanks. I'm going to go over the 140, the 277, the EBR, and the CS63. You can play almost any map with just a consistent lineup of these four tanks. And you should be golden for most fights. You can overwhelm chieftains with 277s. You can overwhelm chieftains with 140s. You can spot out chieftains early with your EBRs. And you can overwhelm a flank very quickly with the CS63. Now, 140 is kind of going to be your all purpose uh, medium tank for maps that you're not going to be rushing your mediums into a position. You're kind of just going to have them hold position real quick see where your enemies are, and then push the side that they are not. And that's normally what you're going to do with your medium play tanks. You're going to send them on a, a flanking run or send them in behind your heavies to bump up your heavies DPM a little bit. Your 277s are going to be your brute force tanks. Just shove them down your enemies' throats. Um, Chieftains and 277s have... Uh, or 277s have actually a... <laughs> Really nice matchup on flat ground against Chieftains. And um, 277s can flank Chieftains very easily because the mobility of a 277 by far better than the Chieftain. Uh, EBRs, obviously, your best scout in the game. Uh, you can substitute in mana cores on some maps for passive bushes that you want vision on or from the entire game. Uh, it'll work very well during the campaign, as they will not be able to see that you have a mana core, so you can take one EBR and one mana core, two EBRs, one mana core. Uh, all of these will work uh, well. Uh, I would stay away from taking three light tanks into a battle, unless you're on like a predominant light tank map, like Malinovka, Prokhorovka, or uh, Muravanka. Uh, CS63, very good on specific maps that you want to take uh, possession of a spot on the map very quickly. You'll see some clans run two CS63s onto the top of the hill on Mali. You'll see uh, some clans run uh, CS63s to the top of the hill on um, Westfield, uh, either side of Westfield. Uh, you'll see a lot of clans push a shitload of these with 140 supporting to the um, northeast corner of Westfield. And you'll see a ton of these throughout the clan wars just used in different uh, scenarios and for different options. Uh, also, rushing the hill in Corellia, these are also very popular for doing that. So I'm going to go through and play each one of these in some pubs, uh, sh show what I like about each tank, I guess, and uh, the EBR game is going to suck, so just be ready for that. We're going into 141st because I haven't played any battles today. Woo! All right. Fjords. I love Fjords. Fjords is a great map. I'm the bad side, in my opinion. I think this is the worst side of fjords. You can't rush into the dip this way safely. You'll get smacked by their TDs, but they can rush into the dip safely this way, so the only safe way to get to the dip is to go all the way around. Uh, seeing as this is a tier 10, tier 9 game, I will probably be playing the dip, just because that is my favorite position to play in any Russian tank on this map. You don't need 10 degrees of gun depression to play there. It doesn't really actually end up helping you out all that much to have the 10 degrees of gun depression unless you push all the way through the dip and get to here. And then the 10 degrees of gun depression works a little better than the 7 that you get on the 140. So, 
the 140, uh, personally, I run, I prefer the turbo uh, vent, or not vent, uh, turbo vertical stabilizer and uh, rimmer. You can hit EBRs on the move, you can hit um, a lot of things on the move. You, just like that. Uh, <laughs> you still have all access to most of your DPM. And that was a bad peak. Get the super. Missed him. There's a TNH right there. Nope, he's down here. Ah, interesting. Okay. We need to get our heavies a little more aggressive over there, or I'm going to die very, very quickly. And Artie is gonna just murk me here. Alright, let's see here. Fire some shells over here. I'm hold down right here, unless the 140 and 277 push around. I should be safe from the 50B. And Skoda. Nope, I'm just gonna get full out fucking rushed. Okay, cool. Outstanding. What a team. And there's the 140. <clears throat> Not good by itself. Normally wanna work with somebody else, but uh, you know. They didn't want to play aggressive in the city. Actually, they did want to play aggressive in the city. How the fuck? Why would they make that play? <laughs> that team is so stupid. The enemy team is going to lose this because they made the one of the dumbest plays I've ever seen. Uh, their city's about to die. And then it's free access to their cap. Uh, never mind. No. They're going to overwhelm in the north. Okay. I'm not really sure how this one's going to go. We have a 260 face hugging, a TNH, which is always great because, you know, 260 power. Okay. I don't know. This would probably be a loss if I had to guess. Uh, this is a Silver League player. Look at this. Look at this fancy, fancy Silver League guy. It means he got lucky with his teams. I averaged 2200 damage a game in uh, ranked, which was better than I think a lot of people who got Silver League. But uh, I got 92%. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I would go on like 10 game loss streaks where I would do like 3000 damage a game. Two to three thousand damage a game. Like I was holding my end of the deal, but my team wasn't. So I feel like there's a bit of luck involved with ranked. I watched some gold league guys go down to bronze this time. Like I saw some really good players get bronze league, but I do have a new strategy to get better league for next time. Ooh, three mark ST1. Awesome. Uh, this is not going to be a loss. We are way up on hit points. Or not way up on hit points, but we are up on hit points now on tanks. But that is fine. They actually ended up killing off that push from the north, which is always a good thing. And we will soon be able to get into the next game. Outstanding. Terrible game for me. Uh, as it will go when, you know, you just get fucking rushed. But it is what it is. Um, what is he saying? I'm really T57 for. Now we lost. What? Dude, it's a. Fucking random. You play random to get XP, and who plays randoms to win? Honestly, play randoms to get W and eight. Honestly, to be entirely fair, I just want to be a fluffy unicorn. You know. Nice. Good job, Char. Uh, 
I don't know why he kept backing up there. There's nobody who can possibly threaten him, and now he's running the other direction. Yet, yeah. he is losing the game for us. Now, outstanding. 260 is still kind of holding off this guy's, these guys over here. If he knew how to use his armor on his 260, he'd be in much better shape. Um, 260 does not have bad armor. And he just didn't know how to use it, apparently. This is still winnable. This is no longer winnable. Actually, 1600 clip damage on a char. He could win this. He needs to not low roll on the Leo. He can take out the Super Cog and the RU251 both in one shot, I believe. I didn't actually see what the health was on the 251. But he could still win this game if he plays smart enough. Um, nope, he's just going to get yellowed by Leo and die. Outstanding. Good to see that the dead still complain about the living in this game. Interesting, I just complain that people play this game still. Alright, 277, let's go. Obviously garbage battle in the 140 as I was expecting because it's the 140. I'll answer you later Patriots Let me get into this one With the two seven seven, okay All right two seven seven you just find a spot where you can sit hold down in randoms uh, in Clan Wars, you're gonna want to group your two seven sevens up to push off aside. So you play nothing like Clan Wars in randoms with the two seven seven, and vice versa. So you may be wondering why I actually used the bronze badge. Well, that's because uh, I hate myself. And uh, I want to so show everybody that I'm just a super scrub who can't get chevrons, right? Also, it also shows that I completed ranked, which is something that a lot of players actually can't do for whatever reason. Uh, they don't plan it out very well. They don't play proper tanks. There we go, 550. What a roll. I love that roll. I will take that roll all day, every day. Not tomorrow, though. I would rather just have it today. Now, if that grill peeks out, which he will because he's playing in a grill and he's playing there, he will get smacked for another 500 damage. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I just, um, I'm, okay, uh, this game is rigged. Outstanding. BZ fired one. Kron's gonna fire another one. He's gonna pin that one. Okay, I'm gonna fire one. There we go. Fucking bounced. Awesome. Because it's a Kron. Yeah, he's sitting all down. Now, I really need my Kron to get out of my way, so I cannot play that spot anymore. Uh, there's no point to play that spot if you are against the hold-up Kron. You might as well just move, because you're in a 277. And your biggest advantage is your armor and mobility. Check that before you go across every time. Actually, I don't know what I would have done if uh, they were there. <laughs> that would have been quite bad. So, yeah. So you got a Leo on one side. I'm gonna snap that crown. No, I'm not. Okay, we're gonna get into this position. There's a bat chat over there. Disgusting. Let's see if I can line him up. Doop. Go. Go, 268. Go. I need you to go. I will die if you don't go. Alright, now we're gonna side scrape off for the crown. 
Now reverse side scraping this thing is much better than uh, side scraping normally. There's your bat chat. Okay, Necron pushed out by himself, right? And I have an SD2 with me. And I'm about to get dirt by 4005 for 1700, of course. Yeah. I miss every shot in mine. I get hit by them every time. And pin. Uh, Artie has insane shell burst, apparently, again, which is great. Love dying from 10 meters away from my tank. SD2 needed to be a little more aggressive there. I'm not going to blame it all on him. Uh, I did take 1,700 damage from a fucking shit barn. So, it's my own fault, really. Uh, but, you know. See, when I fire that shot, it just goes over there somewhere. But, you know, I probably don't use the right equipment on my shit barn, so I'm just not even going to watch the rest of this game. We're going to go straight into the CS63. This is great gameplay so far, and I'm not not uploading this video. So, CS63, straight into battle. This is actually one of my favorite tanks to play in ran randoms. Uh, I just don't play it very often because it's... is not a tank that gets very good matchups in randoms. Uh, obviously, you're going to be matched up against a Lilo like every time you play it. And sometimes you get this garbage-ass map for mediums, anyway. So, that's always great. I'm going to play this like I always do, starting the dip, the back dip. At my little tree, with the STB do some spotting, and then push up to the STB. That's literally what I do every single time I play on this map. So if you see me in battle, you know exactly what I'm going to do if I'm in a Leo or this tank. Because I basically only play tier 10. <laughs> I do not like playing other tiers. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna go sit in the dip for seconds. Actually, we got an EBR going out to scout, so hopefully he gets deep enough that he can actually scout them going up there. If he does, I will not stop in the bush. He's going to the middle, which is a death trap for EBR? Question mark. I'm not really sure what what he's uh, attempting to to accomplish there. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even stopping. I'm going straight in with the STB. No. Let's go. Hey, we won. What a surprise. I got five bonds. What? I was on the top ten. Alright. You can ram me, that's fine. I fucking hate myself. Good thing is, as I shot down my building, I'm just gonna wait to get unspotted. Hopefully, the M5355 does not try to kill me. And now we got an STB and a CS63 on both almost on full health against a CS63. By the way, the cheeks of the CS60. I really just got pinned by a Jaegeru off the hill, and I wasn't even showing myself to the hill. He just lobbed that over. Yep, because it was a heat round. Awesome! Outstanding. And now I'm a one-shot again because I'm playing entirely too aggressive today. And here comes the arty shell. You gotta make sure these are really, really short games. You know, can't have fun from all the tanks anymore. Uh, goodbye. And we're into a miraculous start on this battle. Uh, we 
basically won the field. There's the Yeguru. He hit me from there. Okay. I'm just gonna. What? Stink is actually not that accurate. For a sniping medium tank. New. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this tank in randoms. I like it. Like, it's one of my favorite tier 10s, just because it's so fast and uh, has actually fairly decent turret armor if they don't hit you in the cheeks. And you can constantly put out your damage. It actually has better DPM than the one f or the... Than the, uh... Leo? Comes the Char. Char dead. And we turn this game around. Not all the way, but we turned it around enough to where I'm happy with the result. Uh, you don't always have to switch into turbo mode on the tank. I mean, it's perfectly fast enough without it. So, like, in this situation, I'm going to outrun an STB. Uh, right? Cap, apparently. That's great. Why would you platoon with me? That makes literally no sense. There's one tank left and I have two kills. Uh, well. Kind of another bust of a game. That's always, always fun. If I did get two kills, it'll be like 2008, but it is what it is. Two thousand combined. And two kills. Ooh, best game of the day. Haha, -ha, fun. But I survived. That's the biggest thing, right? After getting smacked by, I've been smacked by a Jaeger and a shit barn in consecutive games. This is uh, this is going well. Very happy with this result. Okay. So. EBR. Scout galore. Use your purple equipment on your EBR. Yeah. Get insane view range and stuff. Ah, what a garbage map for the EBR. Yeah, I hate this map in the EBR. I think it's absolute hot garbage. And you have an SAB player in gold. There's rel A players in gold. Gamers. Yeah. Everybody's a gamer nowadays. Everybody can get to gold. Alright, well. I'm gonna play this smart and try to, like, counteract their ABR. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. I know what I'm doing. There's the EBR, there's a Chieftain, there's a 277, and I'm gonna come up here and cut back around. Easy money, right? Hit that tree, miss, outstanding. And as you can see, nobody was set up for me, and that already took a shot at me. <laughs> Great. Yeah, achieved in HE rounds are completely great at shooting EBRs now. That's awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this EBR now. Missed. Mind, he's gonna kill me. Nope, I'm dead. Awesome. Zero, 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 zero. 
typical EBR game for me. <laughs> uh. Outstanding. This is why I don't play EBR, but it is a good tank. Just not when I drive it. I don't know what I did to piss off this, uh, this other bronze league, uh, VZ. Go suck your daddy, please. Don't scout. Okay, yeah, well, cool. Don't care what you have to say. Honestly, I just like to read your stupid fucking thoughts in chat. In game chat. That is. Well, fuck it. I'm leaving that in the video so everybody knows that I am a garbage EBR player. On one of my least favorite maps to play light tanks in the game. So, yeah. Grandvang says loser team. This is the Grandvang that is saying it. He is in all green. He has no marks of excellence and he has a shitload of decals on his tank. Just saying. Um. Yeah, well. When you get good EBR players, the EBR works. I. I'm not one of those players, so there you have it. <laughs> Again, those are the tanks that I would recommend. Well, no, those aren't even tanks I'd recommend. Those are tanks you have to have to be competitive without chieftains in Clan Wars. You have to have 140s, you have to have 277s, you have to have CS63s, and you have to have one or 105s, EBRs. The, th the three you have to have to be 100% honest, is the 277, the 140, and the EBR. You need to have some CS63s for certain maps, or you're going to be fucked every time you play them. And a uh, special shout out to the SDB because it can also work in the 140s role. So, that'll be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.